we've been preparing for the great American solar eclipse and it's almost here. Meteorologist Nick Hunter Norwood talks to a local eclipse chaser with tips on staying safe while viewing the spectacle. While Southeast Louisiana is not in the path of totality for April 8th's total eclipse, even the partial eclipse will be a sight to see. I always get excited about eclipses. Uh, it's like I'm like a kid seeing it for the first time. Ken Stage ran the St. George Observatory in Shriver, Louisiana for many years. He's been watching the skies even longer. About 70 years. I'm 80. I'll be 81 in August. A chance viewing of a comet as a boy piqued an interest in the heavens that stuck. The number of times he's experienced the solar eclipse would be hard to beat. This would be my 19th. I've seen four total or three total, this one here. With all that experience, he's learned a few things. You know, your eyes are precious, right? We've heard how important it is to have glasses from a reputable source. They will be marked ISO, International Standards Organization, with the numbers 123-12-2. That means that they've been certified. You shouldn't be able to see anything through the lenses besides the sun. Those glasses, uh, eclipse glasses block 97.1% of ultraviolet rays and 94.3% of infrared radiation. The technique to locate the sun is important as well. Don't just look up with the naked eye before putting on your glasses. I brought a, a stick today that's called a, a gnomon. And uh, you can use any vertical pole electricity pole or whatever. The shadow will help you orient yourself. And then you get the, at the apex of the shadow, look at the horizon, put the glasses on, and raise your head and the sun will come into view. Lower your head before removing your glasses. Indirect viewers like the pinhole box and this projector stage fashioned using a telescope with a funnel and a screen are also good ways to see the effect of the eclipse. Another tip, don't forget sunblock, like one lady he recalled. She took the glasses off and she looked like a red panda. She had red face and white stripes here and then white across. That didn't sunburn. Protect your skin as well as your eyes. The ultraviolet radiation is not stopping, it is continuous. Being prepared will make for an amazing and safe experience. Nakondra Norwood, Fox 8, Local First. Also, Southeast Louisiana will see an 82% partial eclipse. You can check it out right outside your door with the proper eyewear or a pinhole camera box. Or look for a watch party like the one sponsored by the Terrebonne Public Library in Homa. That's Monday from 1 to 3 p.m.